Many popular restaurants have been working around the clock to make thousands of them in time for the holiday weekend. CBS 2's Jessica O oh, live at Magali's Tamales and Mexican Grill in San Fernando where people, they are still lined up, Jess. And let me tell you, Jasmine, this place alone makes about 90,000 tamales during the holiday season. And you can see why a lot of people want them. Uh, they started lining up at 530 this morning and the doors don't even open till seven. They've been busy ever since then. And a lot of people say they're now making this their holiday tradition. Every year it gets bigger and bigger, the lines. Tamales are in high demand at Miguel's in San Fernando, where the lines are wrapped around the restaurant long before the doors even open. My daughter woke me up in the morning, so I was out here ready. That's how you got to bring your chair. Bring your chair and be waiting for a wait. Junior Estrada has made Miguel's tamales his Christmas tradition for a whole decade. What keeps you coming back? The taste, the flavor, and the yumminess. <laughs> Others in line like Tanner Farwell are just excited to try them for the very first time. I was at a bar for a friend's miss, and the bartender said these are the best tamales in town. We feel very blessed every year when we see people lining up. Christmas week is go time for owner Miguelie Colelli and her team, who wake up at the crack of dawn to make more than 5,000 tamales every single day. Taking order after order for the unique tamales that are GMO free and made with butter instead of lard. And it's a lot of love and it's a labor of love. So, you know, it, it requires a lot of uh, time and a lot of effort. We've gotten tamales from other places too, but theirs is really good. It's really moist and not too moist and the chicken one's my favorite. And while there may be a wait, customers say it's well worth it, especially if it means they get to create new traditions. What well, is become very diverse. So we have every type of nationality, different types of races. So everybody has included and incorporated tamales for their Christmas dinners. And the owner gave us one of her secrets and says the key to making a really good tamale is fluffy masa. And by the way, all these restaurants that are selling tamales say tomorrow is going to be their busiest day. So if you want to get some, you may want to get some quickly and stand in line as soon as possible. Yeah, Jasmine, that, that's good advice, Jess. I'm not making them. I'm going to leave it to the pros. So uh, thank you for their tips, though.